one of the things that scientists learn very early in their training is this idea of what is the story? What is the narrative that you're trying to tell? And, and that, that's a beautiful creative aspect of research that I really liked. And sometimes it's a downfall because you go into a research program or question with a narrative prior to even, you know what you want to say before you gather any data that can be bad, but what would be nice is if QED, because right now it's it's identifying claims and it gives you the, the logic tree, but if it gave you a second tab or panel or whatever, where it says, hey, maybe think of or, or identifies the narrative and it identifies the story and then might suggest changes. Right. Maybe there is a narrative that better describes your result. Y yes. Uh, and, and it's true. We want to leave some room for creativity. Yes. That's very important. Uh, but uh, there's always this tension between the the most parsimonious way of telling the story yes or or or, or, or you know a more decorated way of that might make it more interesting and it's it's something to think about uh, and also it, it helps me already sometimes you know I write a paper or a student of mine writes a paper I write it in QED and then it lists the claims and it also lists if you go to those uh, place where you can see what's new and at least the novel aspects of your work and also the less novel aspects of your work. And sometimes I see in a paper that I wrote or a student of my postdoc wrote that the thing that I think are the mo is the most novel is not listed in the top three. And I say, oh, maybe I did a bad job highlighting the, the stuff that's most important to me. That actually happened to me, this example. Interesting. And when I, when I went, went back to the paper and read it, I realized I did a poor job highlighting the stuff that's actually most important. And then you can rewrite or improve it. 